But the high level, the priorities for business are policies that uh, boost jobs uh, and create growth. Um, breaking that down just a little bit, we want to see an EU that is outward looking, signing trade deals both with established economies and the high growth economies around the world. We want to see an EU that's open and competitive, uh, making progress on completing the single market in services and in digital. And we also want to see an EU that gets the balance right between the EU institutions at the centre and the 28 member states. Perhaps the Dutch Prime Minister put it best when he said, uh, Europe where necessary, uh, but national reforms wherever possible. We think there's a lot of support for this kind of reform agenda that focuses on boosting Europe's competitiveness in a changing global economy, focusing on jobs and growth. Talking to the CBI sister federations around Europe, uh, Confindustria in Italy, BDI in Germany and so on, we think many of those organisations share the view of the CBI that we need to have a reform programme, making sure that the EU is outward looking, open and competitive. Um, well, the reform agenda that the CBI set out in its Our Global Future report last year uh, is certainly an ambitious reform agenda. Um, that said, we do think it's achievable. There's a window of opportunity that's been presented by the elections of a new European Parliament a couple of weeks ago, and obviously a new uh, European Commission uh, that will be in place uh, later this year. We certainly think there's a renewed impetus from, from member states uh, to seize that window of opportunity and ensure that we take the kind of reforms that the CBI and indeed the business community across Europe would like to see. We think there's a window of opportunity to take that forward.